So, hi everybody, my name is Tommy. Today, we will continue with another lesson of big science. So, today's, so last time, we've learned about why do some plants have flowers? And today, we're gonna learn about how does a tiny seed this is a tiny seed. Can you see the size of the seed? So, how does a tiny seed turn into a giant tree? So, today, the main topic is about how does a tiny seed turn into a giant tree? So, now, are you ready? Well, let's begin. After each paragraph, I'm going to tell you some questions uh, so you could answer the questions. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Plants have life cycles just like animals do. For example, this is a seed inside the So, outside, this is not really the seed, but it's the seed coat. Inside the seed coat, there is a seed. And inside the seed, there will be a baby haunt. This yellow is the seed. We can eat it or we can plant it. This is some kind of seed that we plant. This is a peanut bean that we plant. We also have some other beans, or maybe seeds. This is like a black this seed is pretty black, so it's a black seed or a black bean. And we have some green beans. Here we have these tiny green beans. These are tiny green beans. Can you see? They're super small, very, very small beans. So those beans are very small. Some are big, but not as big as us. And some are small, smaller than something else. So, now, all plants have life cycles just like animals do. Most trees come from beans or seeds. This green bean will turn into some kind of plant or tree. So, most plants or trees come from seeds such as a coconut tree comes from a coconut. Do you know why? A coconut is actually a seed. Did you know that the coconut is a seed? It's a big seed. If you throw it from the window and it hits the ground, it gets buried, then just like each day you water it, then it might turn into a giant, giant, um, just like, it might turn into a giant, 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 and you know, it will turn into a giant coconut tree. So the coconut is actually a seed. Are you surprised? Of course you are. So now, let's, now that we talk about most trees come from seeds, so now we're going to talk about what does what is sprouting from a seed like? So now it's a little um it's a little interesting, so I hope you will follow along. So now let's start. So we've talked about most seed most trees come from seeds, so now when the seed first germinates when it germinates or sprouts, it pushes out of the ground. This is the ground, this is the seed. Then, as it germinates or sprouts, it pushes up onto the ground. So, now when it pushes up, it's like a chick from an egg. So, a chick from an egg, just like, just like cr when the egg cracks, then there might be a chick. If you cook it for lunch, no chick. You have to decide which one is for lunch, which 
one is a chick. You must be very careful or you will eat the chick instead of the real one. <coughs> so, now, let's just get started with some of our questions. I just said that after of these simple or maybe hard paragraphs, we will have some of these questions. There are many questions today. We're gonna learn about um, we're gonna learn about how does a tiny seed turn into a giant tree. We're gonna answer questions after each paragraph. There are four paragraphs. <clears throat> so let's just start with the first question. The first question of the first paragraph is what is sprouting from or maybe what is sprouting or germinating or pushing up onto the ground like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, as you know, do you know the answer? Well, sprouting from a seed is also like pushing out from an egg, like a chick, a duck, or a sparrow, or maybe a blue jay or maybe um, uh, an American robin. There are many types of birds, or maybe um, <clears throat> birds or maybe other creatures that hatch from eggs. Even mosquitoes hatch from eggs. So just like, it's like, um, just like sprouting from the ground up is also like a mosquito hatching from an egg. Because things that hatch from an egg is also like sprouting out of the ground. So that's the answer of the first question. Now let's do the second question. After each paragraph, we'll have two questions. So let's do the second question. Our second question is more complicated, so I hope you listen. When the seed first grows, what does it do? So when the seed first grows, what does it do? So there are three answers. Answer one, it sprouts. Answer B, it comes back into the soil. And answer C, it goes through the soil. Or maybe it grows with a line like this through the soil, not up. So what do you choose? Answer A, answer B, or answer C? When the, when, when the seed first germinates, what does it do? Germinates. What is another word for germinates? Well, the answer is sprouts. Germinates can be replaced by sprouts. It germinates or it sprouts. Just like the, the meaning of those two are quite the same. So I hope you understand this question. This is a very hard question, but now that I told you the answer, you'll know it. So, after these two questions and this paragraph, let's move on with the next paragraph. The next paragraph is actually also a, how does a tiny seed turn into a giant tree, but we're going to talk, what does the plant need? So, what does the plant need? In the next paragraph, we're going to talk about that. So, are you ready? Let's get started. When a plant first germinates or sprouts from a seed, it is called a seedling. So what does the seedling need? So now I'll tell you. <coughs> well, this seedling needs air, water, nutrients, and food. It also needs sunlight. So we can't plant the a flower on so we can't plant the flower just like we can't we <coughs> we just um can't plant a flower on the moon because the moon doesn't have any sunlight. We can plant the flower in the garden in a nice sunny day or a rainy day or maybe a windy day because it also needs wind to breathe because wind contains air. If you open the window on a light wind, you might have some fresh air coming into your home. If you don't open your window anytime, and also the, um, all the things in your house don't have any holes, you might don't, can't breathe. So you must 
open the window whenever it is sunny or whenever it is windy. Do not open the window when it is raining. Because rainy, maybe rain will come into your home. It's not good for you. Or maybe it is. Because sometimes we use it as drinking water when we are lost. But it is not good for us when we are at home. Or maybe it's good for the plant. It's not good for us, but it's good for the plant. So, as you know, the, these things are good for the plant. And the plant needs these things to grow bigger and stronger. And what is another thing that plants need? Well, the other thing that a plants need is good soil or dirt. Good soil or dirt. Because um, if it's in bad soil, it has bad things, then it might fly into the sky. Or maybe if it has, if it has this, or maybe if it has this, some, some water that will make it grow really fast, maybe it will turn into a beanstalk. Just like a beanstalk reaching onto the sky reaching to space, reaching to everywhere because we have that water. It grows very fast. So there is no time to stop it. We can only cut it. Then it will stop. But it will also turn into vines and grab itself. Ooh. So now, after we finish the second paragraph, let's do some questions for the second paragraph. So two questions, as you know, or as you, as I said. So two questions, as I said. So now, are you ready for these two questions? Let's get started. They're rather complicated, so I hope you listen and follow along. So are you ready? Let's get started. These are the questions. What do plants need? Um, it's a very easy question, but the answer is quite long, or rather. So, now, let's see. One, it needs air, soil, it needs air, soil, dirt, sunlight, and it also needs rain, or maybe water. And answer, we have two answers. Answer A, I just told you, now I'll tell you, I'll tell you answer B. Answer B is music, TVs, apples, meat, and vegetables. So, what do plants need? Let's see. In answer B, A, you know it's correct, but let's just learn about answer B for practice or for fun. <coughs> so, answer B. What is answer B? So, it doesn't need music. It needs meat because meat will break down and become the plant's food. It needs fruit because fruit also breaks down the same thing as meat. And vegetables also break down the same thing as meat. But it doesn't need a telephone. Even if the telephone can break down and turn into some food for other things, it might explode. So the, it's not really good for the plant. So the plant, if it just like eats, that telephone, then if someday the telephone touches water, then it might explode. Because as you know, if if um electricity touches water, it might have just like it might have um um it's just like it might explode. So some people do that, but maybe it doesn't explode because it's a special kind, but as you know, don't do that very well because sometimes if you don't know what kind of telephone it is and you put it in the bathroom sometimes it might explode and destroy the bathroom or maybe even destroy you so you must be careful of the devices of touching water so let's move on with the next one the next question after the seed germinates what does it become well after the seed germinates it becomes a seedling. It's a seed and then seedling. So what is inside a seed? So now we have a seed coat already. Here's the seed coat. What is inside the seed? Well, inside the seed, we have the embryo. What is the embryo? Well, the embryo is the baby plant. Don't you know? The embryo is the baby plant. Inside the seed, is the embryo 
and even inside the part of the embryo is actually, what do you know? Well, inside the embryo is the food for the embryo. The embryo is another word changing for baby plant. So those are our two questions. Let's move on to the third paragraph. The third paragraph is rather, um, is pretty complicated, is rather long. The third paragraph and the fourth paragraph, it's very long, but you might keep up if you, if you listen carefully at the questions and listen carefully in the paragraph. So are you ready for the third paragraph? Let's get started. In the third paragraph, I'm going to tell you about saplings. How does a sapling become a tree? We still talk about how does a tiny seed turn into a giant tree. We're talking about the cycle. We're talking about what do seeds need. That's all important about how does a tiny seed turn into a giant tree. So, are you ready? Let's begin. So, are you ready? Let's begin. In this little paragraph, I've told you we turn about that thing. About saplings. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Then, for a few months later, the seedling will turn into a sapling due to adaptation. What is adaptation? Well, adaptation is the growing of things. That's called adaptation. So, what about that? That's adaptation. So, now, as you see, because of adaptation, the seedling will grow into a sapling. So now, the sapling. Let's talk about facts about a sapling. What does a sapling have? Well, as you know, the sapling has something called... Uh, the sapling has just like something called bark. What is bark? Bark is the outer covering of the stem or the trunk. So as so then the stem or the or the shoot of the seedling will grow longer and taller. And then it will grow leaves. Finally it is a sapling. Well the sapling will slowly grow bark around its stem. Then it will just grow bigger and bigger until it is a giant tree. So it will keep growing bigger and bigger until it is a giant tree. This is a very easy fact for you. It's a very easy fact for you. When it grows bigger and bigger, it will become a giant tree. So easily, it will grow bigger and bigger and then, or maybe simply, it will grow bigger and bigger and turn into a giant tree. So everything that grows bigger and bigger will become its final stage, die, and then have the first stage again. Every life cycle never ends. Never, never, never ends. If I turn into an adult, because now I'm a kid, so when I turn into an adult and then I die, then another person, just like my son, or maybe someone else, will have their own baby, and then they will grow up, die, and then have their own baby grow up and die. So they never, so the life cycle never stops. If you stop the time in everyone's direction, then might it might be something that something that um something that we can do. So yeah. let's be let's answer the questions of this third paragraph. So this third paragraph is about uh, saplings. I show you it's quite long. And it's quite hard because now I know you're sweating, I'm sweating too. But now let's just answer the questions and do the fourth paragraph. And answer the questions of the fourth paragraph, review everything, and then say goodbye. So now are you ready? Let's get started. So let's do the third question. The third, I mean the, sec the first question of paragraph three. So the first question is, what does the stem of a sapling grow when it is normally a grown big sapling. What is grow? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So what is the answer? 
Well, the answer is easy. Well, it goes bark because I've written it in this picture already. This is like a pencil and realistic picture. So everything here is pencil. You can see it has these little shades and this is the shadow outside. So we have many things. This is the bark. <coughs> so, well, it grows bark, as you know. Now let's move on with the next question. Well, our next question is also quite complicated. It's easy, but it's but the, the answer is uh, very um, very long, or maybe sometimes short. So, are you ready? Let's get started with the next question. Which of these help the sapling grow? Mud. So, which of these help the sapling grow? TV, phone, or pigs? So TV, phone, or pigs. What helps the, the sapling grow? Well, maybe the pig will be the answer. Why? If the pig dies, then it will just slowly break down and then turn into the, the food for the baby plant. Or, but the television or the iPhone, as I told you, it might explode. So, never use a television, an old television that doesn't work, or an old iPhone that doesn't work. Do not throw it outside and bury it so it could be the plant's food. The plant might explode when you water the plant when there is that device inside the plant. If you see that device, just use a fork or maybe a knife and cut open the plant. Then release the device and then maybe you can get the seeds inside or maybe pluck a seed from the flower and then grow it again. Easy peasy doesn't squeezy. So, so now that's easy to answer the second question of the third paragraph. It's very easy. So let's move on with the fourth paragraph. Well, our fourth paragraph is very, very long. It's talking about the built-in code that all seeds have. All the all the built-in code that all seeds have. Not, <coughs> none of the seeds on Earth don't have a built-in code. So you have to listen carefully because this is an interesting fact. If you miss it, you'll never hear again. Because these are very important science facts and very secret science facts. So no one will be able to know it and tell you again about those science facts. So listen carefully and repeat after me. If you have something that is wrong, you might type on the comments below and show me what you got. And if the problem, you don't know the problem, then I can answer it in this video and you will write it to me that if it's right or wrong, or maybe you asked me wrong, if it's right or wrong, then you can just type in the comments below. You can take the answer if you know it already, or maybe you can type, um, Type it when I'm counting down from 10 to 1 or maybe 10 to 0. So, are you ready? Let's start with the fourth paragraph. Our fourth paragraph is about the built-in code. What makes trees grow taller than other plants? So, what makes it grow taller than other plants? What is it? So, what makes the tree grow taller than other plants? It is because of a built-in code that all seeds have. So, as you know, all seeds have a built-in code, so never stop worrying about that. Because all seeds can have a built-in code. So what is a built-in code? The code that is the built-in code that I just told you. Well, that code, the built-in code, was the code that tells the seedling what it will become. For example, a pineapple, Will grow into a pine tree. An acorn will grow into an oak tree. A small redwood seed will grow into a giant redwood tree. So you've learned about these amazing facts. Have you know these amazing facts before? These are very amazing facts. Very, very, very amazing facts and secret facts. So I hope you learned a lot in these in these facts. So now let's just answer the questions of the fourth paragraph. The fourth paragraph is all about the built-in code. 
what is a built-in code? So what is a built-in code? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So what is that built-in code? What is it? Well, that built-in code is the set of instructions, or maybe that built-in code tells the seedling what it will become. If you tell about the fact what is the the seedling's code or be the seed's code, then it will be a set of instructions. But if you say that what does a code do, or maybe a seed code code C O D E, what does a seed code do? Then you must answer what? Well, you must answer this piece of question. It's very easy. Then you must answer. It helps the seedling know what it will become. So now let's move on with the last question before we review and say goodbye. So let's do the last question. Our last question is, what is inside a seed? What is, just like, what is inside a seed code? What is inside a seed and what is inside the embryo? So, what is inside the seed code? The seed? What? So, now, let's answer. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, do you know the answer? Well, the answer is, you know it? Inside the seed code is the seed. Inside the seed is the embryo. Inside the embryo is the food for the embryo. Inside the embryo's layer is the food. Well, inside the seed already has the food. The embryo just like use the straw and pick up that food. So now we've answered the amazing facts and questions. Let's review. So today we've talked about how does a tiny seed turn into a giant tree? So are you ready? Let's review. So we've learned about plant adaptation, the adaptation of plants. So why does it grow into a sapling? And we talked about what it needs, what the seedling, sapling, or tree needs, and what does the seed need, and what is a seed, and just like sprouting from a seed looks like what, and also the built-in code that all seeds have. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and see you next time. Take care, everybody.